Hi everybody, you might need this diagram actually, how to draw a loss-making monopoly. Right, let's get started by labeling the axis. We're going to have price, costs and revenue on the y-axis and simply quantity on the x-axis like this. Then draw your revenue curves. So we'll draw AR, which is equal to D, MR, twice as steep. Then your average cost. Now this is where you've got to make sure you get the average cost drawn correctly. You've got to draw your AC above your AR, all right? Because obviously if AC is more than AR, there is a loss being made by this monopolist, all right? So normally your AC you just draw randomly in the middle here somewhere. Now, if you're drawing a loss, you have to draw it above your average revenue curve. So something like this will do the trick nicely. Call that AC. That's fine. And then your MC, which needs to cut AC at its lowest point. So AC is still a smiley face. Same shape, you just draw it in a slightly different position. MC is sort of like tick, cutting AC at its lowest point. Like that. Then the same process as normal. The profit maximization point for the monopolist. So even if this monopolist is making a loss, it still wants to profit maximize to minimize that loss, right? So our MC is equal to MR. That quantity is the profit maximization level of quantity. We read the price, remember, off the average revenue curve. Don't forget that. So there's the price of P1. Okay, not across from where you get the M equals MR quantity from. You go up to the AR curve. Now we need to work out the level of profit. We know we want to show a loss. Are we doing that here? Well, average revenue of quantity Q1 is at P1 here. So this black dot. If we keep going up, average cost is the higher black dot. Take that point across, call it C1, shade in the little box left. We can label that sub normal profit, which is our loss. Okay, so follow that structure. Repeat, revenue curves first, average cost above AR, MC to cut it at its minimum at its uh, lowest point. Uh, MC equals MR is the profit maximization point, which gives you the quantity. Read the price of the AR curve, work out your uh, level of profit, which here is a sub normal profit. AC is greater than AR, and we are done with the diagram. Checklist, how we label our axis. Yep, we have properly detailed. How we label all of our curves. Yes, we have. AR is equal to D, that's important. How we label the equilibrium, the profit maximization equilibrium point. Yes, we have. Have we shown our subnormal profit clearly labeled? Yes, we have as well. Job done. Thanks everyone for watching. Practice this, and I'll see you in the next video.